Uh, my name is Ishmael Rivas. I'm one of the diesel technology instructors. Uh, here in the Shasta College Hydraulics Lab, we are looking at one of our training boards. So this board right here is for our basic hydraulics class, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to build a basic circuit and set your relief setting on a simple hydraulic circuit. So as you are working on these, I always have a rag present because you're going to get a lot of oil on you. Each one of these connections here is called a quick coupler, and they're made to, well, just like it sounds, couple quickly or a quick coupler. So when we put these on here, you should hear them click in. You can kind of hear that clicking noise. If you don't put the hose all the way on, it will not have a connection and the oil will not be able to flow through the hose or the fitting itself. Uh, one of the reasons there's oil all over the place is every time you put on one of these quick couplers, you are unseating the valve. See this little piece right here? Uh, this little piece here is a nipple and that little nipple actually comes into contact with a piece inside of this fitting. But each one of these has to be fully connected with a click or else the circuit will not be able to work. So first thing we always do is we connect to our pump. So down here on the board, we have a small symbol. It's a pump symbol. And so we hook up to our pump. You'll notice you hear that clicking sound as it goes in there. You could also do a kind of a pull test to make sure you're all the way on. We're going to take from our pump and we're going to hook over here. This is our directional control valve. This directional control valve's job is to tell the oil where to go once we build the complete circuit. So we're going to go ahead and connect up real quick. On this side, I have my tank connections. Tank connections are for oil that has already been used. Make sure these click. So you want to make sure each one of these is connected. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this all in just one second. But before I do that, I want to point out this valve right here. This is the valve that we're actually going to be setting today. So this valve is our relief valve. So our relief valve in a hydraulic circuit is crucial. Any hydraulic circuit that is built needs to have a way to get rid of pressure. If the system does not have a relief valve, it'll build pressure until something breaks. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up to our relief valve. I'm going to run another hose to my pump. I'm going to run it over here to my relief valve. And then when the relief valve opens, I want the relief valve to let the oil so I'm connecting to the outlet of the relief valve. I want the oil to go to tank after it's connected. So I'm going to connect that there. Anytime a student's building on this board, the first thing I check when I walk by before I let them turn on their circuit is do they have a relief valve? So that's why we're demonstrating how to set a relief valve because it's the first thing you should do when you're building a circuit on this board. I'm going to run a line up to one of my cylinders. Up here we have a cylinder or what we could also call, if you're in college, we call them linear actuators. We'll hook a hose to it. Get another hose here. I got to make sure I get nice and oily or else I'm not really connecting anything. All right. Come here. All right. So now I have a linear actuator connected. Over here I got my relief. <clears throat> so again, if I'm in a class and I'm checking on students, they would get to this point, hopefully, and I would check first off, do they have a relief? Even if they hook this up wrong, the relief will protect the system from grenading. So make sure you have your safety glasses on and we're going to turn on the circuit. Make sure this is out. So now the circuit's on. It's kind of anticlimactic right now. All it's doing is oil's flowing in, going through this directional control valve and going to tank. But right here I have a switch that'll allow my cylinder, my cylinder to move in and out. And that's what we built with the directional control valve. Well, my relief setting right here this is my relief. In order to set it, I'm going to have to make that cylinder go all the way to the end of travel. You can kind of hear that pump there. You'll hear a little different noise when it gets to the end of travel. So while it's moving, it makes kind of one noise. And then when it gets to the end of travel, you hear it change. That's the motor working harder to send the oil through my relief valve. Now, in order to set my relief valve, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. So if I'm turning this, Right now I have an issue. I have no idea what I'm doing as far as what effect I'm doing to the system. I'm turning this in and out, nothing's happening because I need a diagnostic tool. So this right here is a pressure gauge. It's a diagnostic tool. Pressure gauge is so we can see the pressure. The reason I make a point to say pressure gauge is people try to set hydraulics without gauges all the time based on sound or magic, I'm not really sure. You have to have a pressure gauge or else you're just turning knobs. 
and breaking things. So before I ever hook anything up to a hydraulic system, I need to shut it back off. Now I can hook a pressure gauge up, make sure it clicks, pressure back on. And on my pressure gauge, I'm not seeing very high pressure because I'm not doing anything with the cylinder. So I'm going to run the cylinder again. And while it's moving, I got about 100 PSI. 100 PSI is pretty low. You can see that this pressure gauge goes up to about 625 PSI. If I want to set that, I need to hold it. And if I turn this in, my pressure will increase. And I'm going to go up to 700 PSI. Now my relief is set at 700 PSI. This system, we won't see 700 PSI again unless the cylinder gets to the end of travel and I just keep trying to move it even though it won't move anymore. They call that deadheading a cylinder or stalling a cylinder. That means I'm feeding it oil, but it has nowhere to put the oil. It's already full. So with the hydraulic system, you have to have a place for that oil to go. They call it a positive displacement pump, and I always like to say it will positively move oil. So you better positively have a place to put that oil or it'll find a place to put it. So in and out, everything's good. You'll notice I backed my cylinder all the way off. Before I ever shut down the board, if I'm done with my lab, I need to back my cylinders all the way off. I have a good example of what not to do right next to me. The cylinder's not all the way down. This one's all the way in. I can shut off my board. Uh, now that we don't have the machine on, I can take off my safety glasses. So again, I'm Ishmael Rivas here with Shasta College Diesel Technology Program. If this is a program that you're interested in and you'd like to learn more about hydraulics or more about diesel, please reach out to our counseling department, set up an appointment, and learn more about what Shasta College has to offer.